So today we'll create a sort of a percussive FM piano patch that will sound like this. And of course you can tweak the patch and create all sorts of different versions of this sound, but the base of this patch will be a 6 operator FM voice. So let's add 6 FM operators. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I will create a small gap here between the between 3 pairs. We will have 3 carriers. 1, 2 and 3. Um, so three operators we will hear, for now at least, and three modulators, so three operators, one, two, and three, that will modulate the carriers. And if you are not familiar with FM, first of all, don't worry, we will not do anything too crazy here. But there's a link in the description to a series I made all about the basics of synthesis in the modular environment, including FM and other aspects of modular. So check it out if you are interested. So let's send the modulators to the carriers. I will zoom in a bit, maybe. So from the output of the modulators, it will go to the FM input of the carriers. And I will use a, a color coding, so green will be modulation, right? One, two, and three. And we will use the built-in envelopes of the carriers. So let's activate one envelope. Let's do it here, for example. Right here we have the level control. And here you can see there is a small button that says envelope. If I activate this button, it means that now the built-in or the included envelope will be routed to the level. And now I will take the attack all the way down. So we have a sound that hits directly and also the sustain because the piano sound has no sustain stage. And now with control uh, C and control V, at least on Windows, I can copy this to the other carrier. So I uh, hover above this uh, carrier and I hit control C and then I can come here and paste it and paste it. And you can see now we have the same settings, attack, sustain and the envelope as well. Now I will use my MIDI keyboard to play this voice. Of course, you can also sequence it with the sequencer, but I will send, I will zoom out. I will send the pitch right, uh, this will be a yellow cable, the piece uh, information to all the operators by holding control, I can take another cable from the destination, so I don't have to go back and forth. Right, and I will send the gates only to the carriers because only they have the envelope activated. So one, two, and three. By the way, I'm using a polyphony so I can play chords. Um, and now we need a mixer so we can mix these sounds. I will use the VCV mixer, which is also polyphonic. So it will work uh, great for us, right? And I will send the carriers one, two, and three. So now we can mix them. And I will use also the sum module from VCV to sum this polyphonic signal right into a monophonic one just so later on it can work uh, better with modules that are not polyphonic so from here on everything that comes out will be monophonic and not polyphonic let's send this already to the output i will take the level down just in case because the i think i have it set to eight voices right so we have eight copies of this can be quite loud and let's have a listen Right, so for now we just have sine waves, but let's start introducing FM. So the first pair, let me zoom in a bit, the first pair will have this bright punchy sound. So let's take the ratio of the modulator all the way up, so it will be nice and bright. And now I can start introducing FM with the depth knob. Right, something like this. Now the second pair will also add brightness, but a bit uh, less of a ratio. So let's say a ratio of four, right? So it will be two octaves above. This one will be two octaves above the carrier, right? And let's start introducing FM. Right, maybe something like this. I can also detune those modulators just a bit with the fine control. 
that's why there's a bit more um, motion. So now the third pair, this one here, will add even more movement. Um, so if I take the ratio of the modulator all the way down, and also the fine tune, so it's really in uh, the lower frequencies, um, this will act more as a vibrato, I guess. So let's start introducing FM and have a listen to the pitch, how it's, uh, how it's moving. Right. Maybe we can change the envelopes of those brighter sounds to be a bit more snappy. the envelope for this vibrato sound to be a bit longer. Right, something like this. Now, I would like to have um, more bass. So we will use another FM operator. I will use it here maybe. Right, another FM operator, I will also set, let's take this down, I will also set the envelope, so I will activate the envelope for the level, sustain down, attack down, maybe make it a bit longer, of a longer envelope. And now we'll use a stack also from Bog Audio to take it an octave down. I can do this also with the ratio, but I don't want to confuse anyone. So I will just use the stack module again, I will use the volt per octave. Right, now it's much uh, easier, I can just take it an octave down, and now it's tuned an octave down, and I will send this to the pitch, and I will use also the gates, and this will go to another channel on the mixer that we have, I will take it down for a second, right, and let's start adding it. So we have a bit more uh, lower frequencies, I guess. Now, before we add velocity to this, let's add some warmth with a filter. So I will use tangents. This will come before the sum module. So the filter will also be polyphonic and each voice can have its own filter, right? So I'm going to use a low pass, low pass filter. Right, and now we can use an envelope an ADSR envelope, we use the one from Bog Audio, which is also polyphonic. I can use now an envelope to open the filter. So I will need to use the gate. I can take the gate from here, right? No attack, no sustain, maybe longer release and decay a bit. Maybe it can start somewhere here. Right, so now when the sound decays, also the brightness decays. And I can add some drive to add some warmth to everything. Let's take the level here a bit down. Haha, <laughs> very nice. Okay, now let's add velocity. So first of all, I will add velocity to the mixer. This mixer is basically four VCAs. You can see we have a CV input for each of the channels. So this will add a change in volume, in level. I will use the velocity output from the MIDI module. Of course, you can use a sequencer also for this and sequence the velocity, right? So now I can play softer also. But this will just change the volume. I want also a change in timbre. Um, so let's send the velocity output also to the FM depth of the carriers. So the lower the volume, the darker the sound. Right, so I will take another copy here. And this will go to the depth CV input. Right, this will control the FM depth of the carriers. Again, the carriers are the ones that we are listening to, the ones that will be modulated. So now there is not just change in uh, volume, there is also a change in timbre, in brightness, but we can take this even further 
and add velocity to the envelope of the filter. So also the filter will not open fully. And again, since this is all polyphonic, each note, each voice will have its own envelope, will, uh, its own filter. Right, so I'm going to use a VCA. A VCA is a great tool for controlling amplitude of all sorts of signals, not just um, oscillators. Right, and again, I will use the velocity to control the VCA. You can see the VCA is also polyphonic. Right. So now the higher the level, also the filter will be more open. The lower the level, the filter will be more closed. Now we can add even more levels a bit. Right, it sounds a bit like a kalimba a bit. And there is also velocity again, not just for the volume, but also for the timbre. Now, another thing I want to do for adding movement is panning the higher frequencies. So for this, I will use the VCV mixer. This I will add the, the VCV mixer, the VCV filter. Sorry, this I will add after the sum module. Right, and as you can see, we have here a low pass output and a high pass output. Right, so the low pass will output the lower frequencies, the high pass will output the higher frequencies. And I will use, to mix this, I will use the 4-channel mixer from Bog Audio, which will look like this. Right, so I will send the low pass to one channel. Let's also listen to this. Right, so now it's just the lower frequencies. Let's set the cutoff to somewhere around 350 Hz. So now we hear everything below that. If I use also the high pass, let's solo it. This is just now the higher frequencies, so above 500. 500? How much was it? 350. <laughs> right, and now together. There is some distortion here, so let's take this down. Right, so now we have exactly the same voice, just on two different channels, one with low frequencies, one with high frequencies, or lower than 350 and higher than 350. And I will use an LFO to pan the higher frequencies. So I will use the LLFO, also from Bog Audio. This will go to the pan CV input, and I will open this attenuverter. I hope you are with headphones. Right. Maybe a bit less. And now I can add another LFO, set it to slow, take the scale down, which is basically attenuation, and send it to modulate the rate of this uh, modulating LFO. So now also the panning will be different. Right, now let's change the mix of the operators a bit. So I will take everything down other than the one with, with the vibrato. Right, let's do something like this. And now I will start adding some brightness. frequencies it sounds really lower registers really like like a kalimba <laughs> I 
Very nice. And again, you can tweak so many things in this patch. The envelopes, the brightness, the ratio, the filter. You can switch filters. You can do other things to the lower frequencies, other things to the higher frequencies. Um, I will also save this as a preset so you can load it and use in your patches if you wish. But now I'm going to add some delay and reverb and see what happens. I will start with the Corona Blob 2. Right, just like this, maybe change the delay time a bit, a bit less wet, a bit more feedback. And of course, I'm going to use also Plateau for a nice reverb, just like this. And let's see, more modulation, less low, less decay, less wet. Um, and that's it. Again, you can find this patch and the preset in the description. Thank you for watching. See you on the other side.